हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी जीरो होल्ड सैम्पलिंग टेक्निक इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड आइडियल सैम्पलिंग टेक्निक इन विच वी हैव यूज्ड एन इम्पल्स ट्रेन ओके एंड इम्पल्स ट्रेन इज हैविंग कंटिन्यूस यूनिट इम्पल्स फंक्शंस बट देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम विद यूनिट इम्पल्स फंक्शन वट इज दैट प्रॉब्लम लेट सी हियर इज एन इम्पल्स यूनिट इम्पल्स फंक्शन एंड बाय डेफिनेशन ऑफ यूनिट इम्पल्स फंक्शन the area under this pulse and you cannot see he pulse here but i have uh, magnified it so it will look like this okay after magnifying it will look like this it will have it will uh, practically it will have some width na so that width i have taken del t that in time time uh, axis it will have some width and that width is suppose del t okay and its length is 1 by del t and by definition its area is what 1 area under this pulse is what 1 so you can see here that it is a rectangular pulse and the area of this pulse will be width into length so if the width of the uh, pulse is del t then the amplitude of the pulse must be 1 by del t but it is a impulse function and by definition it is said that it exists only one point and to exist at one point that time interval must shrink infinite similarly means it must be it must be tending to zero then only it will shrink to the point got it so this delta is tending to zero if this delta is tending to zero then 1 by delta 1 by delta that is the amplitude that will become 1 upon 0 and 1 upon 0 means infinity got it so in impulse function you can see that its amplitude is tending to infinity got it and can it be possible to generate a pulse whose amplitude is infinity the answer is no got it so what we have to do we have to find out some other way to practically sample of continuous time signal so the other way is zero order hold sampling technique there are many more uh, further ways so we will discuss discuss it further for now we will discuss zero order hold sampling technique so let's see so now see uh, what is zero hold sampling technique so zero hold sampling technique is a practical sampling technique that converts a continuous time signal into a discrete time signal okay i have made here one block diagram of zero hold sampling technique so let's understand how it works so first we have taken a continuous time signal xt and we have passed it through a mixer that is there is a pulse strain ct the same that we have used in ideal filter actually it is a mathematical model it is a mathematical model after we will convert a sample then i can explain you that how we will get it in practical got it then you will understand that it is practical that is not impractical so now if xt is multiplied by ct then we have got in the ideal thing in previous lecture we have studied the ideal sampling process the same thing uh, we have done here again so now okay so now what will come uh, in the sampling period ts we will get these impulses we can see here these impulses so now 0 then ts 2 ts 3 ts 4 ts then 5 6 7 8 ts 9 10 11 12 ts got it so here after this step we will get this function in here got it so after that this function is transferred through a another system which is having impulse response h of t and what is that h of t that h of t is a rectangular function delayed by t by 2 to the towards the right hand side got it so now we can see rectangular t minus ts by 2 divided by ts what was ts uh, rectangular function you must have studied in standard signals this is a rectangular function 
got it and represented by a rectangular function of small t by capital T got it so it was from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 here we have what we have done we have shifted this function by t by 2 here so it has become like this got it from 0 to ts from 0 to ts the value the amplitude of this function is 1 so I think you have understood this now this rect after um, passing through this rectangular function you can see this is having this kind of a structure okay so uh, when we will multiply this this function to this one so what will happen that here it is zero okay it is zero at t is equal to zero so it will hold zero up to the next value will come next value will come when will it when it will be multiplied by the next value t s and after convolving with this h t it will give it will hold the same value of this impulse frame up to the next impulse at 2 ts will encounter after that it will multiply by this means it will give the function like this after doing convolution of ht with that function okay x of nt summation n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity you will get this function got it so now again this kind of process you have to you will watch it here now it will every time it will hold it value now look this look at this this value was hold up to the next value was encounter now it will become at the next whatever will, will be the value of the function at the next sample now like this now this one and this one now this this in this way you can see and so on it will go on so you are watching some staircase like this okay these staircase are representing the same sample signal and it is possible why it is possible because the width the width you can see the width is width of this pulse is ts okay means equal to the sampling period and it can be possible now to get a uh, sampling function okay in this way got it so this function you know, this process can be possible with this continuous time signal that is in practice okay not ideally by this function now we can see that can it be uh, recovered reconstructed so let's see its structure now you will see here when we will convert this as t in frequency domain so as of geometry you can see it will be like this minus omega m to plus omega m one replica and you can see the um, frequency domain representation of x of j omega you can see that okay so it is somewhat like the, like it but there is some distortion in ideal sampling or ideal reconstruction when we have sampled ideally uh, with the help of impulse strain then we were not getting this distortion but here we are having this distortion this is the negative point of zero order hold got it but another positive positive point you can see that there is no replica other than this in the ideal sampling we were having many replicas in the left hand side and right side both okay we have to choose one but here we are having only one replica got it now we have uh, we discuss how we will convert it or reconstruct it into the continuous signal again so now what i will do i will multiply it by a signal h r j omega h r j omega you can see here what is that h r j omega that's the reconstruction uh, that is uh, i can write it here like this if this signal s of t is passed through a system having impulse response h r of t or frequency domain representation h r of j omega then it will give again the function x r t means reconstructed function got it so that h r of j omega h r of j omega will be h r of j omega will be equal to 
e to the power j omega t s by 2 and omega h of j omega divided by 2 sin omega t s by 2 got it so this is the function by which we can represent by which we can represent the um, what we can say uh, reconstruction of the signal from the discrete time signal in case of zero or zero order hold okay so now the function will have shape like this in frequency domain got it so what it is doing you have seen that uh, there is some non-linearity here and here also in our ideal case what we have taken we have taken a straight line okay but here what we have taken a curved one so what it will do it will encounter this non-linearity and give you a, a straight line okay like this and it will filter it out now you can get this original signal now you can see the reconstructed signal x r j omega and x of j omega are similar got it so we have reconstructed the signal with the uh, with that function h r of t got it so in this way we have convert a uh, frequency sorry a continuous time signal with the help of zero order hold into a discrete time signal and then reconstructed it back am i right or not and it is practically possible but the ideal one was not practically possible but you can see here that uh, is there any possibility to improve it further because there must be some in practical uh, when we will do it then there must be some non-linear distortion also because it is not possible to uh, convert this non-linear distortion into linear perfectly okay curve fitting cannot be perfect because of the de deviation it is more deviated okay can there be any possibility to improve this further so answer is yes we can use a first order hold filter and what is that first order hold filter we will study in the next lecture if you are having any doubt then you can put in comment i will try to resolve them okay thank you very much